propagate downwards in such a way that the heap property remains satisfied. Now let's try doing a swap operation. So what should we swap 3 with? Which of these two children should we swap it with? As you said, we'll choose 6. We'll choose 6 because if we replace this 6 by a 3 and this 3 by a 6, then this 6 will continue to remain greater than 4. Of course, it's going to be greater than 3 because, you know, that's what we exchanged it with. But it will also continue to be greater than 4, which is the right child. So the heap property is going to be maintained in this part of the tree. Of course, in this case, we just have a single node. But note that even if there were other nodes here, by replacing 3 by... By replacing uh, 3 by a number that is larger than 4, the heap property everywhere here is going to be satisfied. Because it was already satisfied in this region. We know that. So it was the, the only problem was here. And we, by swapping 3 with 6, now 6 comes here and 3 goes here. So this is 3. Now 3 is less than 5. Even though it's greater than 1, it's less than 5. So the heap property is again broken here. So what we do is we swap the larger of these two with 3. And in this case it's 5. So we bring 5 here and we bring 3 here. And now things are fine. So in the worst case, what could happen? We could sink down this element all the way to the bottom but that will again because these swap operations take a constant amount of time in the worst case the complexity of this algorithm is going to be proportional to the height of this tree so again we can do remove max in order log n time You see now that both these operations can be done in order log n time in a heap. Any questions about the remove max operation or the insert operation? Okay. Let's go to the sorting problem. Okay. So let's say you're given an array A with n integers and you want to sort this array. If you want to use heaps in order to sort this array, here's what you can do. You can insert all these elements a1, A2, A3 till An, one by one into a heap okay, using this insert operation. So we'll be inserting these n elements from scratch one by one, one after one. And after inserting every every element, you'll ensure that both the shape property and the heap property are maintained. And at the end, you're going to get a heap with those n elements. Then what you can do is you can repeatedly extract the maximum element and have another array. So you can say, let's call this array as R. This is going to contain the result. So repeatedly extract the maximum element and store them one by one into this array. There are n elements. So you're going to have the maximum element here, the second largest element here, the third largest here, and finally the smallest element here. So you can sort, you'll get a sorted array at the end. So you need n insertions. Okay, you need to insert all these n elements followed by n remove max operations. Now 
Now we know that the complexity of an insertion operation is log n. Uh, so n insertions are going to take at most order n log n. Likewise, the complexity of a remove max operation is order log n. So if we execute n remove max operations one after another, the complexity is going to be at most order n log n. So we can use heaps to sort this array A in order n log n time overall. That in essence is the heap sort algorithm. There are some details which I'll get into, but uh, uh, there are some optimizations that I'll get into, but do you have any questions about the, uh, the method per se? In general, that's what you can, yeah, go ahead. When you say stable, you mean, uh, you, are you referring to the stability of a sorting algorithm in particular? Yeah. Well, when you say compared to other sorting algorithm, uh, you mean um, okay. So Okay, um, so there are two things that, okay, let me write it here. There are two uh, things that one can think about for a sorting algorithm apart from the time complexity. The first is whether the sorting is done in place or not. And when we say uh, sorting in place, what we mean is how much extra space do you need to use? Assuming that the input is given to you in the form of an array, how much extra space do you need to use in order to run your sorting algorithm? Do you need to use space over and above this array? And if, if so, how much space? If you need only a constant amount of space above, over and above this, uh, uh, this array, then that's called sorting in place. You can do it with, you can sort this array in place. That means you can just swap these elements around, compare these elements around, storing only a constant number of them outside this array. And you can work directly with the input array in order to generate or transform it into the output. You don't need to create a new output array and you know uh, that if, if you necessarily need to compute a new output array that would be that, that would be a sorting algorithm that's not in place now strictly speaking i can i mean uh, i can show you that heap sort is an in place algorithm but the problem is the way i've described it right now is not it's not going to be evident so i'm just mentioning this because you know, this is one of the two things that uh, uh, you need to think about for any sorting algorithm. The other thing is what you asked, whether a sorting algorithm is stable or not. And by stable, what we mean is, if there are two elements with the same value for the key in the input array, and one of the elements appears before the other element in the original array, now because they have the same value for the key, Technically, it doesn't matter whether you, you know, whether th this element appears before this or not in the final sorted array because, you know, they are the same key value. But when we say that a sorting algorithm is stable, we mean that the relative order of these equal key elements is going to be preserved in the final array. 
So that's what stability means. Now, is this what you're asking about or are you ask, do you mean something else when you talk about stability? Because stability is a binary thing, right? Either a sorting algorithm is stable or it's not stable. So when you say relative to other sorting, stability relative to other sorting algorithms, uh, I, I'm a little uh, confused about whether, you know, you seem to have some notion of stability in mind which has degrees, degrees of stability. So could you clarify your question once more? Mm-hmm. 